we don't need big numbers. We need people that fit exactly what we need, and we can win a championship with that. I'm going to rush until my heart busts, and I'm going to get one more rush. I got to answer the call because, you know, a lot of the defensive guys, they, they bring the competition day in and day out. Game time. Many of these young kids, have, they have uh, been exploited, uh, treated unfairly in many cases. I believe in second chances, uh, only because that God has given us many of many of chances. In my growing up, you know, I always had second chance, and I was never put pushed to the side. And that's one thing about the ministry, you know, one, we're not supposed to judge anybody, and two, we're supposed to love and help people, and this works on this field every day. Hmm. Quick snippet on Devin Carter. My role, well actually... Uh, if he was a millionaire, I really honestly feel that every person around him would uh, never want for anything. Well, I was in college and my mom called me and said she couldn't do it anymore. She was taking care of my grandmother and she was taking care of my dad and she was also sick herself. So I withdrew from school and came home and started taking care of all of them. If he has it and you need it, he'll give it to you. And it's his goodness that attracts me to him. I was working. I tried to go back to school at Stark State, but I couldn't manage it trying to work, take care of them and go to school. So I just ended up stopping going to school and basically taking care of them until my mother and father passed away. Uh, he's just like a lot of the players that we deal with at this level. He's made his mistake. I played two years with the Buckeye Bearcats. And I was supposed to play with the Ohio Legends, but I couldn't play with them last year. I mean, Devin was recently in jail. He was supposed to play on a team that I coached last year, the Ohio Legends. And uh, unfortunately, he was incarcerated really early in the season. And uh, I didn't love him any less, and I didn't think any less of him. And that's why he was kind of like a son. And and hopefully that that fight that we share gets you know passed on to them and they pass it on to someone else and it's just a it's just i have my motivation is doing fulfilling my dream of what my mom and dad wanted me to do and that's play football when he went to jail i still acted like it i still went and visited him i still treated him as if he mattered to me just like my own family members and in doing that as soon as he came out even before he was out he was constantly talking about how he was going to come back and play and since he's come out and he's had the chance to get back with his football family, uh, the changes he's made as a person have been pretty incredible. And also giving my kids something to be proud of. With his attitude, with his commitment to the team, and I see it in his heart that he is starting to believe that I am third. But really the thing that we drive home every practice, almost every huddle, every time we get together for any amount of time, when we break out, somebody will scream, I am, and the rest of the team will scream third. 